guys, what's up? It's your girl, The Sin Show. And like I promised, I am back with another episode. So like I said before in the last video, we keeping it easy. We keeping it nice and easy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't want to confuse nobody. It's just that when a girl has so much going on, I want to be like, oh my God, I got to share. I got to share. I got to share. I got to share. Sharing is caring. But when you overwhelm somebody, they gonna dip, <laughs> okay? It's giving information overload. So I don't wanna overload you. I want you to have a good time. And I want to just keep your attention because guess what? Attention is, the, is currency, baby, okay? So this episode is about, I may gatekeep my man, but not these products, honey. Okay, I may gatekeep my man, but not these products. What the hell do I mean by that? Well, I'm a pretty private person. Some people may say I'm mysterious. Some people probably say other things. <laughs> but one thing for sure, two things for certain, honey, I will not gatekeep products that I feel like, yo, you should try to find this if you can. Now, that's the same way I feel about the Heal Thy Code channel, hence the reason why I do that work that I do over there. But over here, honey, Let's start off with it. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it that, I'm, I'm gonna just say this. Today, the nails, can we talk about the nails? Beautiful color, what's the color? Unbothered by this amazing brand called Misho. I got these, if you can find it, there we go. I got this beautiful color, almost like a gray, Um. Almost like a nice, beautiful, like beigey gray. At Winners here in Canada, Marshalls, if you can find it. You know, one thing I love about Marshalls and Winners, I don't know who is in the buying section or the buying uh, team, you deserve a promotion. Clearly, your eyes is to the ground, your ears is also to the ground, honey. You, 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 you out here like this. <laughs> okay. Because not only y'all have I found these amazing products. Now, I think regular price, if you're going to buy them, I saw it, I did some research. Allure was talking about $39.95 or $39.99. At the time when I first found this, it was $7.99. Child, if you happen to find this today, $5, possibly $3, okay? Go and find these. I love them because they are 10 free. 10 free meaning they are there are um, free of these 10 certain chemicals, formaldehydes that are usually put into nail polish for preservatives. Um, and the woman who created this at the time was pregnant. And you know, when pregnancy comes, we can't really do a lot of things. Now I'm not pregnant yet, but I am definitely prepping for the time and I'm collecting, I guess you could say I'm collecting until it gets to that time because honey, these nails is always gonna be long, strong and doing their thing, okay? And I wanna make sure that they're healthy. Um, and I gotta use products that also reflect that. So kudos to you, Miss Ma'am's Misho. Um, also a black uh, entrepreneur who created this um and I, I i again i give her kudos um and so that's one thing i don't want to gatekeep is that product and uh i also want to talk about some other things that i have not been gatekeeping like i gotta keep it real okay i have found <laughs> my favorite because of miss shares tv because of Miss um, Sharita, because of Miss Coco Pebs. I freaking love all of you guys. <laughs> because of Miss Senda C, all of the perfume girlies. I have found these, except for one more that I intend to find, okay? Um, and I think that is, what is that for, for honor or? Yeah, yeah. Latafa, Latafa, what the F? What in the world, where have you been? Guys, for years, if you know me, especially those who really know me, my besties, my besties have known for years, all I had was 10, not even 10, I actually had two or three perfumes, Dior, 
And the only reason why I mess with Dior is because I had best friends who worked for the company. That is a good thing. If you can have, a, if you have friends out there who work in the um, retail and hello, you got to work it. <laughs> so I was lucky enough to have these beautiful, amazing people in my life who gifted me these. And I have and held them for so long. Now, over time, I will not find them right now to go and pull out how low they are. Because something in me almost just refused to go out there and get perfumes. I wasn't as interested. I wasn't, I didn't think I was that girl who was into fragrances. I wasn't into that, like, that stuff until I got older, I started, I was in my 40s, I'm now 43 now. And, you know, I'll, I'll think, I think the reason why I went so heavy from having three for almost 10 years <laughs> to now probably 80 fragrances in less than a year, less than a year. I know, Cynthia, you got a problem, I know. I know. Like I said in my other previous videos, I think I was talking about overspending in one of our um, flashcard videos. You know, the funny thing about it is that when you go through certain things in life and things get you down and you feel like, yo, self-love, self-love, self-love. Let me just do this. Let me just get this. It makes me feel good. It makes me smell good. It makes me feel good. I went into it. Just like I went into it with fashion. I was a stylist for a long time, did merchandising for a while. I've had a lot of different things that I've done in life. But I think one thing I had noticed was self-love at that time while I was growing up really wasn't something I had a good handle on. And I would become extreme in the things that I would do. Thankfully, I don't do too much of that. Hopefully, I'm learning how to come back. But I felt like for some reason, perfumes were things that you couldn't really tell, you know, when I was down. If I smelled good, people would assume I was doing good. <laughs> right? Isn't that funny? Like, you know, when you, you can tell somebody's going through it by the clothes that they wear. You can see their body shape. You can tell if they're in shape or not. You can just... But with perfumes, you just couldn't tell, child. You couldn't tell. You just knew that that person took a shower, put them good creams on, layered themselves up to hell and high water with these fragrances and called it a day. And uh, this is not a dig to fragrances. I absolutely love them. I think what I'm just basically saying is I had recognized that for myself, I took fragrances as my way of escapism, of escapism at that time. I think I also took it as a form of building up my own self-care and self-in, self-love, um, because I was not paying attention to myself back then. I was working so much, so hard, I could not see. I think I know where all of us are at when we get to that point. And so I became, I turned to perfume as, a, as I guess, as a source of comfort. I can't believe it. it's almost like I'm like a crack addict. You know what I mean? Like I think anybody who has, when loves fragrances, I feel like you can kind of sort of attest to this, that whatever happened in your life, it could have started off with one, two, three, the collection. And then you're like, oh my God, this is so pretty on my desk or on my dresser. And then it just went and went. And you know what was crazy? Is that I collected so many over time that I was collecting dupe of a dupe of a dupe. I said, oh, eh, eh. <laughs> this is the same as this. Or, you know, and this is the same as this. So, you know, this is me now saying, let me ease up. And I'm going to bring forth the ones that I've collected over time. And I will talk about them throughout, uh, I guess, throughout the three months. Um, and I'm going to start off with the first thing, which I am now doing as my own October perfume tray. Uh, I've obviously shown you the first three that I have got, which is the Latafa's Badi Al Oud Sublime. I absolutely love this. Now, funny thing is, I'll keep it 1000 again. 
Majority of the perfumes that I've been collecting have all in my eyes, I don't like to say dupes anymore because I feel like some of these for real are, it's giving me niche. These houses, these perfume brands are very becoming niche. And I gag at the top designer brands that are pooping. <laughs> I don't want to say the other word, but that are pooping on these Middle Eastern brands. These are amazing, amazing brands. And I'm not sponsored by anyone to say that. I'm just really keeping it real. I don't own too many aside from the Dior's and maybe um, the Givenchy uh, Linterdit that I own. But other than that, I just continued to keep doing the research by watching the girlies online about what's what's in, what's hip, and figuring out, well, what is it that I like? What is my signature style? For years, I thought my signature style was Miss Dior, J'adore. Um, I was like, no, I got to figure me out. So I think that's another reason why I, I went heavy hard with the references, because I was like, I don't know what my signature style is. I've never really been into this. And I don't want to keep smelling like Dior every time, not to say that it's not the thing to wear all year round. But I think at that time, I didn't even know the difference between, oh, you can wear this in the winter, you should wear this in fall, wear this in spring, wear this wherever. So it's October, it's fall. And I am also doing my tray via colorway. So I'm going to lift it up without hopefully all of, all of it falling. Oh my God, hopefully you can see, you can see some of it, it is so heavy. <laughs> so what do we have here? Zara's Rose Gourmand, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love to layer these and I am also wearing some of them alone. Today, I am actually layered the two together this one over here, which is um, the Le Monde Gourmand Vanilla Mousse. Absolutely, very nice and light, super nice light smelling. And I decided to layer this today with Zara's vanilla, hyp hypnotic vanilla. These two together, very nice and soft, still giving vanilla, still cozy. So that is today's perfume that I am wearing. And I also have on this tray, Zara Black Dart. Zara Black Dart, if you can see that, beautiful. I love the color, love the smell. I will definitely be talking a little bit more of these as time goes on, but I'm just gonna share what they are. Along with this, which I have put together, this is Zara's Red Temptation. I actually own not just Zara's Red Temptation, but the summer version and the winter. I can't believe how far I've gone into this, <laughs> but I absolutely love this. So I'm, I am I tried layering this yesterday with the Badi El Oud for Glory. Amazing. Anyone out there, if you haven't had these, please put this in the comments and tell me what do you smell. I love these two together. It's just, eh. this is already kind of giving a little bit of a Baccarat um, Rouge 540, you know, DNA a little bit, not really. But then when you kind of put this together, oh, yos. Anyway, we'll talk about that one later. <laughs> we'll talk about that one later. Okay, so I done showed you uh, Zara Rose Gourmand, Zara's Black Dart. Zara's uh, Red Temptation, Zara's Hypnotic. Oh my God, can we talk about this now? The thing is, everyone had been talking about, um, I have to keep pulling her up because I love the smell of this. Lord, I love the smell of <laughs> this. is supposed to be, so they say, they wanna talk about the duping of it. This will be like a dupe of um, K. Ali's uh, Juicy Apple and something else, like something lychee. Y'all, this, Batty. <laughs> Top notes of apple and grape. Put these two together. Thank me later. Thank me later. You want to talk about double apple, double, double extra. It's just, you're going to be eaten alive by someone out there, hopefully in a good way. <laughs> Amazing. I love these two together. 
So I'm going to try not to overdo it, but it's kind of hard, which means I'm going to have to get another bottle of Casablanca, Casablanca from, uh, from the House of Swiss Arabian. Child. Got this one because of Miss Cher's TV and never looked back. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Okay, and then let's pull her out. Betty Oud Amethyst. Okay, royalty. Love her. She smells divine. I'm not going to lie. When I smell this, I know that there's supposed to be two types of rose in here, but I can also just smell grape. I don't know why I can smell the grape. What do I love to layer this with? Fineries, Midnight Cafe. Not just because it's purple, purple, but it's just intensifies the notes in here as well. Try this out, guys. If you happen to have the Finery and the Betty El Oud uh, Amethyst, Ciao. another thing you won't regret. Okay, let's keep it going. Another thing that I absolutely love, and I just keep doing it over and over again. Because <laughs> that's the only way. That's the thing we all know. Um, I also have pulled out Zara's Captivatingly Paris. Beautiful scent. I love to wear this sometimes late summer going into fall, but I also have been layering this along with Sublime. Okay, this has been beautiful. Also beautiful on its own, but just as beautiful. And I have also layered this with Binaries, not another cherry. Wow. Wow. That's all I'm going to say. And then last but not least on the tray is Zara's Splendid Bronze. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. Not super intense, but I also do love to layer this along sometimes with the hypnotic very interesting combination together. Last night before I wore it to sleep, I had a good dream <laughs> together. Again, Midnight Cafe, along with the Splendid Bronze. Absolutely amazing. And I think last but not least, but I am still kind of like, mm, should I keep it on the tray or not? Maybe I might actually move it to November. Zara's Magnificent magnificently Dubai. This is a nice, softer oud to me, but if it has like some notes, it smells like lemon is in here. I will definitely, like I said, be going through each of them over time and I'll put the notes up there uh, because I am also getting used to becoming a fragrance girly and understanding what the base notes are, top notes, and you know, actually seeing how long does this last on my skin. Now, I will admit a majority of these do last on my skin about four hours, sometimes five hours. And it all has to do with how you layer. It is so true. So I thank all of you guys out there, all the ladies who have been teaching us how to properly layer these so you get the best out of them. I'm not really big on the oils because I have eczema sometimes and I can break out and I don't really want to do that too much. But I do understand the point. I am big on using sometimes Vaseline or just a super heavy cream um, that will in help to 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 keep the scent. So yeah, guys, I don't. I just wanted to not be a gatekeeper on what I'm using um, and how fragrances kind of fell into my space in my life. I probably won't stop. <laughs> I know I gotta stop, but I am looking forward to finally finding my own signature scent. So. That's all I wanted to give you guys today. And keep on going out there smelling good, feeling good, doing good things. I will see you again tomorrow or probably another time. Probably not tomorrow, but probably another time soon. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Thank you guys so much for joining. Hit the like button if you're down for this. Comment down below about these combinations that I might have shown you. What are your favorite combinations? Um, with these absolutely affordable fragrances because honey, I'm a baddie. I'm a bougie baddie. Okay. But I'm also a budget bougie baddie. Okay. <laughs>
I mean, things could be out here trying to just, and we are all about keeping the coins in the bank and in the pocket. Okay. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.